rich tradition of football here tonight. Jones and Mississippi Gulf Coast. Sim Cooley coached here for 27 years, a quarterback in 1947, then came back in 1961 and coached through 1987. Sixth all-time in the NJCAA when it comes to coaching football here at Jones Junior College. Two programs, rich tradition in sports, go at it tonight. Gulf Coast, number two in the country. Jones smarting after a loss to previous rank Coahoma. These two teams go at it tonight. A festive night in Ellisville, and when these two teams get together, it is just that. The Bulldogs have won six straight coming into this game. Jones leads the all-time series, 41-39. to It's the opener in the South Division for both teams. Gulf Coast takes the opening kickoff, and they quickly move downfield. Eric Wills taking it off the left side. Bursting free for a big run. And Wills on the night, 11 carries, 70 yards. Then he takes the handoff here, runs right, and races 20 yards for the score. And the extra point conversion is good. And early on, the Bulldogs leading it 7 to nothing. JC JC takes the kickoff, and they themselves go 12 plays on 70 yards and a touchdown right here. Memphis sophomore quarterback Tremarcus Tony found Warner Robbins, Georgia freshman wideout Rashawn Wines wide open down the middle. Gulf Coast comes right back. They move 71 yards and six plays for their next score. Freshman quarterback Clayton Moore, an Ole Miss transfer, connects right here with Javon Bell. 46 yards down the far sideline for the touchdown, and the Bulldogs back on top, 14 to seven. Six plays later, facing a third and eight. Watch this, folks. Tony, heavily pressured by the defense. He manages to get away, fires the ball toward the goal line, where South Jones freshman tight end Keegan Livingston makes the reception and punches it in for the touchdown. Tony on the night, 19 to 33, a pick and 206 yards passing. Jones now bidding for their first lead of the night. Three plays into this drive. Quitman, freshman running back to Anthony Pickens, takes the handoff to his right, breaks several tackles, scampers 23 yards for the touchdown. The PAT gives Jones their first lead with eight seconds to go in the first quarter. Terrific crowd on hand for this South Division matchup in the MAC JC. The band of gold for Mississippi Gulf Coast performing at halftime in Ellisville. And for Jones, the Bobcats entertaining the crowd with their band and dance team as well. Okay, third quarter action now. JC JC about to punt for the first time tonight. And standing at his 25-yard line, Otis Jacobs goes left, cuts back to the right, and promptly is on his way, 75 yards for the touchdown. And this game is tied at 24 early third quarter. The Bulldogs would score what would prove to be the final points of the game on their next possession. And James Gillum ending the drive with a two-yard run. Scott's kick made it 31-24 Gulf Coast. Now we take it deep into the fourth quarter. Jones, after stopping Gulf Coast, one more chance inside at two minutes to play. Tony to throw, and Mario Gaynor, the linebacker from Goche, intercepts the pass and seals the victory for number two, Mississippi Gulf Coast. It, it, it was a real big win for us. I mean, we showed a lot of character when we came back out in the second half. Um, all I saw was my blocking, the, good, the great blocking, and the end zones. That's all I saw. I knew they would, they would come out the pass, and then um, we were saving, I mean, sitting there with Blizz, and we had disguise. So I had, um, I just knew if I mixed up the sky, you know what I'm saying, we would be able to uh, get it. So I had dropped, I mean, I had, I like I got Blizz, and I dropped back to the middle, and I read the quarterback, and he just threw it my way. Well, I started out just getting the call, and uh, we run the play. And I got downfield and saw it was kind of getting mixed up. And then all of a sudden, Tony just, done like I always done, makes a play and uh, ended up catching it and some falling into the end zone, just staying with the play. And that's all, that's just how it happened. Yeah, our offense did a super job. I, I was really proud of the way they came out and played. Um, you know, defensively, we just, uh, you know, we can't play in front of the chains. You know, they, uh, of course, we knew they had a great offense. I mean, uh, you know, and they're going to run the football. They're throwing it a little more this year, but. Uh, you know, I was really proud of the way our kids came out and played, and uh, they were ready to go. And, uh, of course, you, it's not hard to get ready for the number two team in the nation. Uh, we know that when you play Jones, it's going to be a tough, physical football game. It's going to come down to the wire. And, uh, I was proud of our guys for being able to, to find a way to, to, to get it done in the second half and uh, find a way to win. The defense stepped up tremendously in the second half. Uh, you know, had
had some, some guys that, that could, you know, made some special plays. And, you know, we challenged at the halftime, and the guys definitely responded.